Hey everyone, Sam Battersby from Griot's Garage, and today we're going to talk about how to install your backing plates and brushes for the G8 random orbital polisher. So we've got a brand new G8 here in the box. Now keep in mind you will need a flathead screwdriver for the brush change. All of the tools for the backing plates, however, are included. Um, you also get both backing plates with this orbital, so it does come with the two inch and three inch backing plate option. So both are in the box. Three inches installed out of the box, so we'll put the two inch on today. First opening the box, you notice your nice insert there. Pull that out, study that hanging on your wall. The nice plastic inserts for the package. Pull out your accessory kit here in the zip bag. That holds your two inch backing plate, your backing plate wrench, as well as your extra set of brushes. Pull that guy out, pull the orbital out. Nice branded bag there, pull your bag off, toss that back in the box. We'll set that to the side for now. And last but not least, you wanna make sure, looks like the box is empty, but it still has some weight to it. Pull up your bottom uh, insert and your cord is underneath there. So make sure you do not forget that cord before you discard your box. Set that on the floor. Now we have our beautiful G8 random orbital polisher. If you're gonna set it up with your two inch plate right out of the box, go ahead and open your accessory bag, pull out said two inch backing plate and your backing plate wrench. Um, it is ideal to keep this wrench. Uh, we did label it so that you know what it is when it's floating around in your toolbox. You don't I think it's just some random wrench that you picked up and throw it away. Um, so do keep this because it is very difficult or virtually impossible to fit a normal wrench in there. You'll need a uh, wrench, a cone wrench I believe is the primary name, similar to what's used on a lot of bicycles. So make sure you keep this otherwise you're going to likely have to go out and find a specialty wrench or call us up. But insert your wrench between the backing plate and the tool shroud. You'll uh, Hold it onto that, that hex hub there and simply loosen the backing plate by turning it counterclockwise. I normally hold the wrench in place and loosen with the plate, but you can also hold the plate in place and break it loose with the wrench either way. You do want to make sure that you always keep that nylon crush washer on your backing plates. So grab your two inch plate, pull the little thread protector off, again take your wrench. Hold the tool hub with the wrench. Again, make sure that nylon crush washer is in place and thread your two inch plate on. If it doesn't thread in easily by hand, do not force it. Pull it out, you know, make sure you position it correctly so you don't cross thread and it should thread in nice, e nice and easily. Give it a quarter turn to tighten it down nice and snug. And now you're ready to go with your two inch backing plate to accept our uh, two inch boss pads. So now for the brushes, they're gonna be housed behind these quick access brush ports. One of the awesome features of the new G9 and the G8 random orbital. So as of now with these, um, all of our orbitals feature those quick access brush ports. It makes it very easy when you need to swap the brushes. We'll go ahead and pull our brushes out of the bag here. They're gonna be in a nice uh, Ziploc bag within the accessory kit. Do not throw these away when you pull them out of your accessory kit. A lot of people may not know what these are when they pull them out. These are your orbital brushes, which can wear down, especially if you're using your orbital a lot. Brushes will, will wear out and the tool will no longer get power. Um, so you may think that it's broken when in reality, all it needs is a brush replacement. Um, normally for an everyday guy that's only using this, you know, on his personal vehicles and may not be running it more than a few times a year. The brushes could essentially last you a lifetime, but it all depends on how much you're using the orbital. So for removal, you simply thread out that quick access brush port using your flathead screwdriver there. And then your brush is gonna be right underneath that. You can pull it out by hand, or if you need to, either use your screwdriver or a small set of needle nose pliers to pluck it out of there. On a new tool, this will be barely worn in. Um, but all of the brushes on the G8s and G9s will have a, a wear indicator on them. So that tiny little 
dot or recess at the bottom uh, quarter of the brush is your wear indicator. A tool that has worn out brushes, the, the carbon will be worn down near that wear indicator. Um, so normally the brushes won't need to be replaced until they're severely worn down. Set your old brush to the side, grab your new brush, slide that in. I like to hold it down with my finger as I slide the brush cap back over. That helps keep it centered in the brush port so that when you get your cap on, it's not difficult to re-secure. So thread that on. You do not want to over tighten the brush cap um, because it is uh, composite. It can break if you over tighten it. Um, so be sure to just snug it up finger tight. Repeat the process for the opposite side. You always want to make sure that you replace both brush brushes at the same time, just like you would brake pads on your car. Otherwise you'll get uh, inconsistent power and potentially uh, uneven wear on your brushes. So that is how you change the backing plate and brushes on your G8 Random Orbital Polisher. For more information on the G8 Random Orbital, visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.